Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little speed test here between the new OnePlus 3 on the left and the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, the S7 Edge is obviously about twice the price than the OnePlus 3. Uh, so I'm very uh, interested to see how it compares here. Uh, we have actually routed the OnePlus 3 as well because it has a memory issue. Hopefully OnePlus will sort that out. But for now I've edited the build prop so it take, makes use of the full 6 gigs of RAM that you do get. And we're going to open up some very big uh, apps and games to really work the devices to see how they compare and you can see the S7 Edge is a little bit faster booting up but that's not everything obviously one thing I have to say about the OnePlus looking at it so far the display is absolutely magnificent uh, when you compare against the S7 Edge which is obviously 2K uh, yes you don't have the you know curve going around it but can you see a difference there personally I can't you know it looks absolutely brilliant and uh, considering the price that is a great benefit so let's see how they uh, respond going to open up some apps both of them have been updated to the latest software as well so we can see uh, how they compare here go so these are the smaller apps obviously and smaller apps don't take too much pressure and so far it's very neck and neck you know on both of them oh oneplus jumps out in front dialer maybe the oneplus there but slightly different animations obviously you would need a slow motion camera to see the differences here So we got uh, a pop up there, but I think it was about the same with that one. And some of the inbuilt apps. So maybe a little bit faster on the OnePlus again, but again, you know, it's not a massive difference here. And that is a stonkingly good start here for the OnePlus, considering the price difference. Uh, now we can just move on to some heavier games so we do have uh, Lara Croft on both of them so a little bit delayed there on the S7 Edge but actually going into it, it seems to be faster on the S7 Edge so we'll give that one to the Edge uh, we have FIFA Again, you can see this is an Exynos uh, 7 Edge as well, by the way, versus Snapdragon, obviously. So that could make a little bit of difference here. Maybe if we're using uh, Snapdragon S7, it might be a little bit different. So this is GTA. I'm just going to start a game here. Oh, so a little bit faster loading on the OnePlus this time. So it's about 2 1 when it comes to the games. I'm guessing it's not going to have as many glitches as the Malai GPU for the gaming. Uh, we can have a look at Asphalt. wonder how it will hold these games in memory be very interesting to see so again S7 Edge here 3-1 we do have a Victor but nevertheless you know I've been very impressed here with the OnePlus 3 generally it uh, is doing quite well we can just move on to the uh, speed of the Wi-Fi here so a lot of people do like to see, you know, the Wi-Fi performance. And you can see we're on the same infrastructure. Just start with the OnePlus. Uh, 
So obviously uh, this is Snapdragon 820, should be pretty good. Uh, so far very average score, if you ask me. I think even the Moto G4 Plus got better than that. And what can the S7 Edge do? Wow, no contest. You see, you can't you can't beat the old boy, the alien trinket, when it comes to the Wi-Fi. But I'm going to be generous, you know. I'm going to give it another go here, just to make sure that this is uh, correct. Sometimes it doesn't pick up the, you know, the best signal. Uh, but you can see here again. Not the best when it comes to the Wi-Fi. Got to say this, you know. Uh, but maybe uh, I think eighty should be good for most people, I guess. And we do have to repeat the mantra: four hundred euro, or three hundred, or four hundred dollars, I think, if you're abroad. Uh, so let's just see the web browsing. Load, load up a quick, quick few games. Uh, browser session, should I say? We've already done the games, obviously. Uh, so let's go to Google on both of them. Uh, so let's see uh, Kotaku. Go. So look like the uh, one plus there a little bit on that one let's just click on a link again one plus so maybe the one plus will pull ahead here when it comes to the web browsing because Samsung's never been that good when it comes to you know the Chrome stuff we're only using Chrome here for fairness they both uh, have it obviously this did load the content a little bit faster though uh, GSM So again, you can see very quick on the uh, OnePlus, about comparable for this one. Maybe we can have a bigger web page, Daily Mail. So a little bit faster here to come up with this screen. Uh, so again, S7 Edge here, it's pulling it back a little bit, and GameSpot, finally. Oh, OnePlus again. So I think the OnePlus has probably won a few more there. So yeah, I'm going to give it to the OnePlus, I think. Very good uh, general performance, as you can see on the web browsing. But the S7 Edge is no slouch, as you can see, it does sometimes pull ahead in itself. Uh, but really, you know, uh, very interesting stuff here from the OnePlus. Now let's have a look at the multitasking. Obviously, we have opened a lot of heavy games and stuff. See uh, how it is. Go. So this is the multitasking button. I've got to remember that. I wish they'd use like normal litten buttons because it can get very confusing. But we can see here with this build prop fix, bit of a delay there. The uh, the OnePlus seems to be very good. So there is a slight delay here on the the Samsung. As you can see, when I click something, it takes a little bit longer than the OnePlus to respond. Maybe that's uh, the screen, uh, you know, uh, touch sensitivity. But I'm seeing the OnePlus come up with it a little bit faster for the multitasking. Both of them keep them in memory, though. That's the main thing. 
So we're going to the games after this one. See how the reload is. Straight in there on this one. A little bit slower on the S7. Next game. Whoa, so we do have a champion, it looks like. This one has gone straight into it. No, no reloading. Samsung, let's get a taxi for Samsung. Let's uh, see the GTA. Both of them keep it there. So will it will it clinch it here with asphalt? Let's see. No, so both of them keep it in memory. So you can see, I think uh, OnePlus does just clinch it though when it comes to being strict. I think uh, you know Samsung had a little hitch there, uh, but generally, you know, the Samsung's very good. It's just the animation which is a little bit slower, you saw some jerkiness there. Whereas this is beast when it comes to the multitasking, you know, just coming up with it straight away nearly. So, you know, this has just been a speed test, performance test. I will check out the camera as well when the weather is a bit better. Uh, here we've been having some nice, nasty flooding. Uh, but uh, so far I've been very impressed actually with the performance here of this boy. Uh, but uh, obviously you do have to, if you just bought it now, it's worthwhile rooting the device and doing those build prop changes if you want the best performance. Or you could just wait for OnePlus to, you know, uh, fix it, which I'm sure they will through an update. Uh, but yeah, you know, if you've got any uh, questions about the speed test, do let me know. I did look for a performance mode or something and I couldn't see any. Uh, so I've just left it as it is really. So yeah, just a quick video here, checking this out. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.